good day, viewers. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about a subject that fascinates me, and that is the world of boxing. But not just the world of boxing, I want to focus on the similarities between two fighters. Those would be 1940 bo 1940s boxer, believe in the 50s, Jake LaMotta, and 1980s uh, boxer, the Iron Mike, Iron Mike Tyson. Now, if you don't know who Jake LaMotta is, I'll just explain to you real quick, because not a lot of people in my generation know who he is. Um, if you've ever, ever seen the movie Raging Bull, the movie is based on his life, based taken from a memoir, Raging Bull, my story, and um, it just shows the struggles he's had in the ring and out of the ring. His personal life was very turbulent, and for for many reasons, and he boxed in the 40s and 50s. He um, ended his boxing career in. 1954, so about 60 years ago, still alive, he's 92, and um, I want to talk about similarities between him and Mike Tyson, now, Iron Mike Tyson, you must you all know who he is, he's had his fair share of battles in the ring and out of the ring, keep your ears clean, folks, <coughs> so, I just want to talk, talk to you about the similarities in the two personalities. Um, as I said, already. Um, so where to begin? Well, let's start with the group, with the roots. We'll watch the plant grow, basically. Um, in the 40s, I'll start with Jake. Well, in the 20s, actually, when he was growing up. His father would make him fight neighborhood kids for money pay the rent. I'm not judging anybody, but uh, once you're forced to fight in any form, look at pit bulls like dogs, that causes aggression in dogs, and it trains them to be mean. Now, kids still have hope, but <coughs> um, that was the plant, or the seed that was planted inside Jake LaMotta when he started fighting neighborhood kids to pay the rent. Mike Tyson, when he was growing up, his father was, was his father left the family when he was young, but his mother raised him, and he grew up in, um, she was a good mother, but she, but, um, he grew up, Tyson, in a very high crime area and basically uh, was surrounded by, you know, gangs and all that, but he did a lot of petty crime, and he fought a bunch of kids, and that was the plant that was, the seed that was planted inside of him, and basically got him to get interested in boxing. He, he went to a school for boys for a while, and he was taken out after he, he um, started training for boxing, but how do we intertwine these two individuals, Raging Bull, Jake Omada, uh, he's been married seven times, just got married two years ago to his seventh marriage, but prior to the seventh marriage, um, his wives have said that he was violent and physically abused them. And, um, was very, you know, aggressive towards him. He, you know, beat him and all that stuff. Um, Mike Tyson's gone through the same thing. He's beaten his wives and committed adultery, just like, uh, Lamada has. And that's part of what fascinates me and draws me to the parallels of these two men, which inspired the, this video here. <coughs> um, now I just want to talk about this. 
Um, so yeah, it's just fascinating. Um, you know, very psychologically angry young man. Um, Tyson seems to be very insecure, and so does La so does Jake. Tyson's got bipolar, and that's, that's a whole other mixed bag of issues. But Jake LaMotta is, and or he was, very insecure, and he was very jealous of, you know, his wife, and she would always talk to people just in a friendly manner, and when they were in their social circles at clubs or whatever he was at, um, and he would get jealous, and you know, and. Tyson, uh, that was probably a factor in his abuse to his wife's, to he's been married three times. Um, he was probably jealous, but a lot of that is, a lot of it also is his, you know, his bipolar, and he can't help that, but he's got a temper, and I do think that, um, the reason that I like boxing is that it helps a lot of people with their anger and gives them something to let their frustrations out on their opponent. But it's a great sport and it's got high energy and anything, you know, that anybody can ask for in a sport, really, I think. But another similarity is that back in the I don't know if it was the 90s or the 2000s. Tyson was charged with uh, rape and spent three years in prison. Out of six, but he spent three in three years. Now Jake Lamada was not. He didn't rape anybody, but he was accused, tried, and convicted of introducing men at his Miami Beach club in 1958. Jake LaMotta, that was the name of the club. He was accused, tried, and convicted of introducing men, grown men, to an underage girl. He says she lied to him. But, um, yeah. She was underage. I think she was 14 or 15, but she said she was 18 or 20. I don't quite remember, but that was in 1958, and as a result of that, he served time on a chain gang. They don't have those anymore, but he did serve time on a chain gang. Um, so that's another interesting parallels, the, the um, similarities in the fact that both of the crimes were um, involving underage people, but... Um, also, Jake Lamada has been his legacy as one of the greatest boxers has gone down as a man who can take a punch and is still keep standing. It reminds me of the Elton John song, um, I'm Still Standing, <laughs> believe it or not. But um, Tyson has, he learned to do that um, as he, you know, as he, as he reached his peak, he only lost eight fights out of 58, but, um, you know, you still lose fights, and you do still learn, whether you win or lose, to take, take a punch, and um, I think that's another parallel with these two men, and, um, you know, there's a lot to be said um, about these two men and their similarities. And that's why I did this video. Um, and, um, you know, I think that if you talk about athletes in sports, people look up to athletes and things. But if you teach a psychology class, I would suggest to professors, I know, I know you talk about Freud and things, all the um, Carl Jung and all those guys, but um, to... To 
take a na to take a name that people know, bring up the name Mike Tyson, and um, you can use Jake. I would, I would, if I were teaching psychology, I would um, use these two men a as examples in their parallels, and you know, talk about the root causes. You know, as I say, the bad neighborhood with Tyson and uh, the father basically forcing Jake LaMotta to fight young kids as he was growing up. That was a root cause of their anger and, you know, their interest in boxing. Um, or, no, I wouldn't say anger, but aggression. It was a root cause of their aggression. And uh, it's very interesting, just the fact that they kind of, in a way, overcame that, but in a way not, because they still carried the anger and aggression with them but they're still great boxers and but just it's a very interesting there's a lot of parallels going on and just say in their personal lives with their turbulence and a bunch of other things which I think it's very interesting and um, this, mi this video may be a bore to some people but very interesting to me at least and that's why I did this um, so it's something to think about and if you have any comments, people, you can um, comment me and, you know, but, um, yeah, so I look forward to chatting and, you know, long live Tyson and Lamada and this discussion, more, most importantly this discussion, because it's a very, very interesting topic about two very interesting men. Hey, folks.